six million coins to spend on this team. We'll assemble the best team we can, and if we win, we double that amount. Of three point two million coins to spend on a team. There's a ton of different quarterback options, but I'm gonna go with 89 overall, Trevor Lawrence. He's just a really well-rounded quarterback. Pretty expensive though, 170,000 coins. We can't spend that much on every position. 87 most feared Brees Hall is a nasty running back. 87 speed, excel, agility, carry, change the direction. He's even got good break tackle, 90,000 coins. Gonna stay relatively budget on fullback. Take 84 Franco Harris. He's really the only option for about 20,000 coins. The fullback is a dying position, boys. We may one day see NFL football with no fullbacks. That'll be a sad day. The tight end, on the other hand, is the opposite. This is a thriving position, and Jawan Johnson has a nasty card. So he's 6'4". He's a little smaller than you'd hope for your tight end, but 87 speed, 85 catch. He's basically a wide receiver at tight end. Jawan Johnson will be our tight end for 90,000 coins. If we're at 800,000 at the end of offense, we'll have done this pretty well. Wide receivers, we can pick up 86 Olave for 50K. He's a really solid all-around card. He's a pretty big wide receiver, too. Next, I'm going 87 T. Higgins. He's fast. He's got really good jumping, catching traffic and catching. And then he's six foot four as well. So I'm getting some big wide receivers right now. Final wide receiver. I'm going to spend a little over 100,000 coins on this. Also, boys, we're about halfway through NFL season. And I can get you a discount on your next football tickets, no matter how many times you've used SeatGeek. That's right. SeatGeek is the partner of today's video. And they've given me a special discount code. It's MMG10. Now, whether you're a new customer to SeatGeek or you've been using it for years like myself, you can get 10% off to any college or pro football game by using that code MMG10. You got to be quick, though. This deal is only available until November 30th. So take out your phone, open up the SeatGeek app. There's a link in the top of the description to download and use that code MMG10 for 10% off. Huge shout out to SeatGeek for this deal and enjoy the rest of the video. Like I said, I'm getting some big wide receivers. Megatron is so good. He's 6'5", 88 speed, 90 jump. These cards are always crazy. Him and Julio Jones always get some of the craziest cards in Madden. So 960,000 coins. That means if I wanted to equally distribute this throughout my O-line, I could do about 30,000, 35,000 for each O-line position. Put us right at halfway for defense. Start with 85 Andrew Thomas for 28,000 coins. That's not a bad price at all. Once again, I really do not like to spend significant coins on my offensive line unless I'm literally so bred it up that it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, if you've got infinite coins, go ahead and get the suit super high level offensive linemen. Some of them have really good abilities, but if you're building a budget team or you're even trying to be conscious, it's just not the position to be buying. In fact, if I'm doing solos or any challenge with a free player, I always take offensive line. And right now we're gonna build an all 85 offensive line for about 25K a pop. That's not bad. I might spend a little bit extra on my right tackle. I tend to think that's the most important position if you have a right-handed quarterback. Looks like right guard is kind of an expensive position here. I'll take Nate. Ear big for 40k. That leaves 40,000 coins for my right tackle. I might splurge on an 86, you know. I'm gonna ball out and get full Dan Deerdorf. 87 overall Dan Deerdorf. One of the early legends. He's just a little bit less than 100,000 coins. So all 85s other than my right tackle who's going to be an 87. That should be nice for Trevor Lawrence. Every once in a while, I'll roll out right. He's a pass-protecting right tackle, so hopefully he'll seal that up for me. Before I forget, I do like to get a backup tight end. I'm going to pick up base Dallas Goddard for this. 84 overall Dallas Goddard. Nothing too fancy about him, but this is just my backup tight end. I just like to get a guy I like. Maybe he'll have one or two catches and throw some blocks, but if you don't get a backup tight end, they'll sub in a middle linebacker, and I do not want my middle linebacker out there, so I'm glad we did that there. With 720,000 coins remaining, here's our offense. All 85s up top with Andrew Thomas, Joe Tooney, Connor Williams, Nate Erbig, and Dan Deerdorf at right tackle. Then we got Jawan Johnson, Dallas Goddard at tight end. T. Higgins, Chris Olave, Megatron. Huge wide receivers. Got Brees the Beast and Franco Harris in the backfield with Trevor Lawrence at the helm. Abilities-wise, I don't know what T-Law gets, but he does get Gunslinger. Hell yeah. Okay, this was a very good choice. He also gets protected. Hell yes. I'm gonna rock Gunslinger protected and gift wrapped. So stupid that you have to put that ability on. 
but whatever. I'm giving him run and gun. It's not a meta ability. I don't care. I love run and gun. I think it's awesome. Beautiful. Says five AP on Trevor Lawrence. I actually have room for AP on one more player. And I'll probably go jukebox on Brees Hall if he gets it. Hmm, he doesn't. Damn, I was really hoping he'd get that. He doesn't get that, but Jawan Johnson does get matchup nightmare. Better route running and catching versus linebackers. Really nice ability when your tight end gets manned up by a linebacker. So I'm gonna throw that on him. I'm also gonna give him double me. I won't be shocked if we go to Jawan Johnson a ton in this game. And then for my final X factor, I'm gonna put it on Brees Hall. We do have a really good offensive line and this Brees Hall is good. So if I could activate Freight Train, they're gonna be in a lot of trouble. It's gonna be a fun. If I ever get Freight Train activated, I'm gonna win the game though. If I'm running the ball that well. So that's five AP for Trevor Lawrence, an X Factor for Brees Hall, two and an X Factor for Juwan Johnson. There's our offense fully kitted out. 86 overall. And we've got a little under 800,000 coins to spend on this defense. First purchase on defense is gonna be one of the nastiest cards I've seen in a while. Talanoa Hufanga's team of the week, 86 overall, 87 speed. 87 zone, 88 hit power. Oh, he's so good. It's so funny too, because a few years back, I think two years ago, Talano Hufanga was one of those base silvers on the Mutt lineup. And now he's like a base 89 in the game. It's just so dope, dude. When even Madden doesn't know the guy's gonna ball out. I love that. This is a name that I'm not very... Oh my God, that's such a good price. I'm buying him right now. I'll think about it later. Hold up. Jason Pinnock, I just got him for 28,500 coins. Giants free safety. Number one, he's six foot one. Great size for a free safety. 86 speed. 88 excel the rest of his stats are good too it's not like paul kraus who has 55 man coverage he's got 83 man and 84 zone he just doesn't hit that hard first corner i'm picking up is 84 revis island cheap too you can get really good corners and safeties this year for cheap 84 Darrell revis 86 speed 83 excel 89 jump stud next corner i'll pick up is 83 jonathan jones from most feared really fast great stats he's just 510 i'm not gonna lie though i haven't noticed it as bad this year as last year with high balls and getting aggressively caught on it just doesn't happen as much you'd still prefer your corners are taller but it's not the end of the world if they're 510 you know what i just said that out loud so i'm, I'm gonna stand on it all right i'm picking up darius williams this is actually such a good corner he's i mean he's five foot nine 86 speed 89 excel though 89 jump and great coverages. You're not selling on any crazy coverage stuff here. I said being short doesn't matter that much this year, so I'm gonna prove it right now. I'm taking Darius Williams. So I'm gonna grab most sphere DJ Jones as my first D tackle. 85 strength, 83 block shed for 10, 11,000 coins. That's about as good as you'll get. Next one's Andrew Billings, super similar build. 86 strength, 83 block shed. So there's two strong D tackles for a combined total of 25,000 coins. That's great. We've still got 539,000 coins, so we're gonna be able to get some really strong linebackers and edge rushers. I think I'm going to start by picking up an 88 or 89 overall left end. This Bruce Smith has been so essential in Wheel of Mutt without any abilities on him that I'm taking him here. 112,000 coins. We're getting 88 Bruce Smith. I'm not going to spend as much at left end. I'm going to take 86 Chase Young. This is actually a really nice speed rusher. He's very fast and he's still got good block shedding and good finesse moves. They're not crazy good, but that is a fast ass left end. Bro, I really am building building a wheel of mutt lineup right now, but I'm taking Anthony Walker Jr. for the sole reason of lurk artist for anyone who is uncultured. Linebackers in Madden do not animate. They do not jump properly. To fix this, EA has given this new ability called lurk artist. For one AP, you get the power of lurker and pick artist combined into one ability. By the way, if you were to put lurker and pick artist on a player, that's four AP. So you get a massive discount and they jump like crazy. Anthony Walker is also already six foot one with absurd speed and absurd change of direction. I'm really, really excited to have Anthony Walker. We still got 80,000 coins. We got to pick up two outside linebackers and a backup middle linebacker. And I'm actually going to start us out with literally one of the best budget linebackers in the game who also happens to be on Wheel of Mutt. I apologize that Wheel of Mutt is snaking some of these nasty cards. Wait, am I thinking of the right guy? Where's the boy? No way. He's not on the auction house. There's not a single one up. Wow. Well, there's not a single single Quay Walker on the auction house right now, but Quay Walker is an insane most feared middle linebacker. Damn, that's so sad. As a consolation prize, I'm picking up 78 Sean Bradley, who's still a really nice budget middle linebacker with good speed excel, decent block shed, but yeah, you really want Quay Walker here because Quay Walker's dirt cheap. He's like 11,000 coins. He just isn't on the auction house right now. That's a bummer.
At right outside linebacker, I'm taking Zayvon Collins. Just a well-rounded outside linebacker. My pass rush is coming from Bruce Smith, so I don't care that Zayvon Collins isn't really a pass rusher. And that leaves 60,000 coins for my left outside linebacker, which means I should be able to get an 86 overall. We can get Dennis Gardeck, bro. This guy was actually a dog for the Cardinals. He's been really good. I know people don't really watch Cardinals games, but this guy's been a beast. It's actually 43,000 coins for the 86 overall. Really well-rounded stats. That leaves us 17,000 coins. Ooh. Shit, I could pick something up. I'm gonna pick up an extra wide receiver just for, like, special teams. I'm picking up Devin Duvernay. This bum doesn't know how to catch the ball, but he can feel the kick return. We'll let him house a kick, and it's a perfect amount of coins, too. It's 15,000 for him. That leaves us with 2,704, and our lineup's complete. All right, y'all, here is the entire defense. You got Big Bruce Smith at right end, 88 overall, and then Anthony Walker right down the middle, 90 overall. Talano Hufanga, Jason Pinnock, Revis Island. Darius Williams and Jonathan Jones make up the DBs. Got Andrew Billings and DJ Jones at D tackle. Chase Young at left end. My linebackers, Zayvon Collins, Sean Bradley, Dennis Gardick. Team's looking good, man. We're at 85 overall, so defense is a little bit lower overall than offense. Kind of figured that'd be the case. Had a little bit less coins to spend on it. Let's set some defensive abilities, and we'll be good to go. Like I said, Anthony Walker's only one AP, so that leaves six to distribute here. I'm gonna give Stonewall to Tano Hufanga. What's up? No, you're good. I just goofing around. You know how it is. Yeah, go ahead. Do what you gotta do. No worries. We're not I'm not doing anything important right now. Boys, me and uh me, Shane and Mills are going to the what is it, game three? Game three of the World Series. D backs, Rangers. When you're watching this, it's well past that, but clearly the D backs won game three because I hammered it money line with all my college tuition. I'm gonna get Bruce Smith double or nothing. Let's send it. Well, I don't really have abilities to use, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put defensive rally on Anthony Walker along with Lurk Artist just to give extra pass rush points to Bruce Smith. Nobody else gets abilities on this team, so I'm just kind of kind of just making shit up. All right, here's our defensive abilities: Lurk Artist, defensive rally, shutdown. You got double or nothing on Bruce Smith and universal coverage Stonewall on Talano Hufanga. It's a little goofy. I'm not gonna lie, but we'll make it work. All right, y'all. 85 overall team. Our top three players are Anthony Walker, Trevor Lawrence, and Bruce Smith. And Jawan Johnson and Hufanga are up there as well. We got to get a dub to double it to 3.2 million coins, which is going to be an absolutely absurd squad. Also, in regular seasons right now, I'm four and two. So if I win this, we go to the playoffs. And if I lose this, we don't go for shit. Josh Allen, Luke Keekley, DK Metcalf. Yo, Luke Keekley. He's got a little lurk artist of his own. Come on, Duvernay. Duvernay, if you fumble, bro. Devin Duvernay has been nothing but a low light reel. So today's his redemption game, right? He's going to house this. Holy shit. <laughs> fumble that. First play of the game is going to go to Brees the Beast. I like how that sounds. The user's there. We'll cut it up and we'll take four yards. Second and six. Is this man coverage? No, it's not. We're going to hit Brees out the backfield. Nice work, baby. Come on. You got to think quicker. There's Juwan Johnson out at wide receiver. That's actually exactly why I do that, is so that I can throw that to him. But Luke Keekley went over and got it. So instead, let's send Higgins underneath and then Juwan up. So now I can just make the read. He follows that. Then we hit Higgins. Shit, that's kind of covered. Okay, so then do I send Higgins up? You up, you out. Oh, this is man coverage, I think. Third and eight. It is man coverage. We got the whip route. Let's go, baby. Higgins is a little tired. I got to chill out now. Some good offense there, though. First and 10. I think he's back in the zone. I'm going to look for Juwan Johnson or Brees Hall. Let those deep routes just develop on their own. Ooh. Oh, no. I had two different throws. Trevor Lawrence ran out of time. All right. Second and 10. Let's go halfback. Go Brees Hall out the backfield. Luke Keekly can't catch him. Primetime does. Third and three. Looking good right now. Efficient offense. This is a zone. Uh, Maybe not. Oh, get it to him. Barely got it to the halfback. That's a first down. I could have ran that with T-Law, too. All right. First and 10. Going to go play action here. Oh, he's stuck on a D-lineman. But... Somehow, to Marcus Ware, full-blown untouched. Oh, my God. Second and 16 here. Let's go. Good throw to Juwan Johnson. A better juke. Third and four. This is a very difficult drive right now. Franco Harris is in. I guess Brees Hall got tired. Third and four. Ooh, that's a zone. I love that. Not the best ball, though. 
Wait, perfect accuracy? Really? Apparently it was a great ball and I'm just a fraud. Fourth and four, I'm gonna go for this. This is gonna be a tough game against a tough team. I think we want these points. I think T Higgins is there on the slant. Let's see it. Oh, he sees it. Oh! <laughs> he doesn't see it well enough. Oh my God. He was right on that. All right, first and 10. Let's just be smart now on this one. Take the easy throw to Franco Harris. That one is a bad ball. Second and 10. Hey, we got a solid O-line. We got Brees the Beast. Let's get it, baby. Get to the second level. Nice work by the guard. We'll take a third and seven. Make this a little more manageable for us. I like that. I think Higgins might be a touchdown. Depends where his user goes. Unless he just manned up, which makes Juwan Johnson open. Let's go! Get in there! Let's go! Hey, that was zone. T. Higgins is open. Dude, it's crazy though. I spent all that money on Megatron. Haven't thrown the ball once. I am going to go Brees here on the two-point conversion, and it's a cake ball. Eight to zero. Falcons are on the board. That was a massive drive. That was a four-minute, 39-second drive. First and 10. His first play is a handoff. Walter Payton. What kind of defense do we want to run? Here's the beauty, though. So when you don't have Lurk Artist, you kind of feel obligated to run nickel because otherwise you're not going to be able to animate on the ball. But I can run real run-stopping defenses with, you know, five. I got five down guys right here in case he's going to be spamming Walter Payton. Oh, Hufanga. Damn. Still a nice tackle. I think he'll probably go, like, play action of some variety now. He's not going to do that again. Might be tight end attack. Tight end attack is the play that he'd run here. No. He's just going to run it. Walter P is stuffed. Second and 10. Great work. Okay, this is a pass. Second and 10. Ooh, I like that. I don't like it now. Damn, that was covered. DK Metcalf just made a better play than my DBs did. Kind of thought he'd hand that off. He might go Walter Payton out the backfield here. He's going to throw it again. You're not going to get that twice. Can I disguise a blitz at all out of this? Not really. Oh, I hope he doesn't hand this off. Okay. Got there, but got there late. We should have bodies. What? Yo, Hail Mary to the end zone. Nobody's looking. All my DBs just turned into Chris Godwin. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, and a nice find against the zone. Took a... Big hit. But he hung on to it. I will switch to nickel anyway right now because he's kind of tearing me up. Shit, this is a bad time. He's going to run it now. Now he's going to fucking run it because he's close. Okay. I just have to make a huge play here with Anthony Walker if he runs this. Okay, he doesn't. Could throw Peyton. Could throw middle too. That DK Metcalf is nice. That's the unstoppables DK Metcalf. He's given us so much trouble back there. He does have to get this. He has to go for two and get this though. I don't expect a run. This might be an RPO. It is an RPO. We're all over it. Let's go. Great work, defense. Hey, this is massive, though. A touchdown now and a PAT. Nine-point ball game. And this guy's, this guy's got a nice offense, so this might be exactly what we needed here. Duvernay will take it to the 23. Three minutes, five seconds. And he gets ball at half. So we got to score here, get our PAT, and uh, put this game a little further out of reach. All right, first and 10. I'm a little scared of play action because of his pass rush, but it worked out. Dude, this Juwan Johnson's nice, bro. He runs fluid. Go Brees underneath out of the backfield here. Got him. Money. Get a juke, maybe? No. Brees is fighting for yards. Let's fucking go. Brees is getting me amped up. Hey, second and two. I'm running this. Might be able to just go. Oh, money. Oh. Oh my God. Are you kidding? Brees Hall. Three rushes, 28 yards. Let's chew the clock. Big wiener lover looking to punch one more in. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, bro. Are you going to stop the inside zone? Come here, boy. Wow, that's some fucked up block sheds right there. Those were just unbelievably unfair. They both got the same animation, too. He's going to keep leaving Brees, though. Third and seven. I guess it's only a five-yard pickup. I can't be too excited about that. Third and seven here. You know what I really like? I like Juwan Johnson here. Okay, we just got to read this. Is it zone? We go Megatron. Is it man? We go Higgins. Zone. Oh, fuck. But he's on Megatron. Damn it. 
He read me like a book on that. Fourth and seven. Let's see if he runs the exact same defense. Okay, so he's in the, what appears to be the same defense. If it's zone, we can hit Juwan Johnson, I think. I got Megatron. Let's go! Maybe that 100,000 coins on Megatron was important. If it gets me a fourth and seven pickup, we need it every single time. I think my best play here is low-key Brees underneath because he's still in his zone. Maybe not, actually. Let's just take this and go down inbounds to chew the clock. I'm interested to see what he does with his timeouts here. We're at second and four. I think Jawan Johnson is manned up right now. This will take us down. I had Brees... Third and four will stop the clock. Hmm. I'm tempted to still run this. Third and four. I believe in the run game. Oh, let's go. Get behind it, Brees. First and goal. That's huge. He knows what I'm doing. He knows I'm running this. Can he stop it? Eh, he can stop it at least one time. Second and goal. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm almost tempted to like fucking tush push this. Because I still have another timeout. I don't think this gets it from this down and distance. Second and goal. Yeah, he blew it up. I mean, I guess we got a yard. Third and goal from the one with 10 seconds. Maybe it wasn't elite clock management. Because I'd love to do two more QB sneaks, but I don't have another timeout. You think this is man? What do we think this is? Because I feel like I could throw Juwan Johnson. I have two Johnsons out there, baby. Got him. <gasps> Holy shit, Megatron was wide open. But once again, we get fucking screamed on. Why DeMarcus Ware? You know what's crazy? I spent all the extra coins on my right tackle. And he's still getting dogged. I am going to take that field goal. That's such a bummer. Megatron was wide open. All right, we're going into half with a five-point lead, but he gets the ball. Really would have liked to put in a touchdown there, but I got boxed up on the goal line. Going to sky this puppy over to Walter Payton and Jason Pinnock. Come give me some Come give me some coverage, buddy. I like that. That's good coverage. Good enough. I need to incorporate some blitzes. He hasn't seen a single blitz from me. I think this is RPO again. Anthony Walker right up the middle. Got him. I said I needed the blitz. Let's go. 80. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, monster hit from Bruce Smith. Oh, shit. Bruce Smith's supposed to be blitzing. Does he make another hot route? Get home. Dennis Garnick gets home. Fourth and 15. He's not the only one with pass rush. All right. Bruce Smith is rushing. Fourth and 15. Oh, and there's Bruce Smith. Oh, my goodness. Look at the pass rush. Great work. First and 10. Brees the beast. You got to keep cooking. Damn. Micah Parsons having none of that. I think he's going to leave T. Higgins again. Oh, my God. He left him wide open again. That's how I scored on him earlier. My only touchdowns off of that. 15 for 20, 150 and a tutty. From Trevor Lawrence. Why are my why are the stats all weird? Everything's weird in this game, but I like it. T. Higgins is a workhorse. Six receptions, 73 yards right now. He's gotta switch up the defense now, right? Ain't no way he runs that same thing. Check down. Oh, there's space. You make one good move. He actually broke that back up, dude. Second and six. Freeze. Do one more, buddy. Man, it's gotta be man, right? Second and six, he's gonna leave T. Higgins. Oh my God, T. Higgins is running it up. I hope you started him in fantasy this week. Ooh, T. Higgins, push the lead to 12. First and 10, we gotta stop here. This game's over, over. Ooh, a slip screen, fuck, that is so free. Yikes, nice play call. Does he run this? He does, and he has Walter Payton underneath. Ah, oh, I couldn't get there, I got stuck. It was like a pick play. Genius. I got stuck on that little hitch. All right, first and 10. I tell you what, you know what happened last time? I just needed to blitz. Oh! Darius Williams! Height over! Wait, what was I going to say? Heart over height? Fuck! I fucked it. Dude, Darius Williams, five foot nine, guarding who? Who is he guarding? Somebody tall. He, oh, Randy fucking Moss. He was on Randy Moss. I told y'all. I told y'all it's fraudulent. Also, he just left wide, wide open again. It doesn't matter because we're actually so nasty in the open field right now. Second and four. He's gone. Do the Birdman hands for 3.2 mil. <laughs> hey, that was a tough game. And we pulled a rage quit out of it. That's nice.
I mean, this is pretty obvious because the more coins you get, the more you're going to like a team. But holy shit, I love this team. For so many reasons, our quarterback played excellent. He gets great abilities. Gunslinger protected, gift wrapped, right? And then Anthony Walker. I feel like I could use her anything. Like, what did I say about Bruce Smith? Bruce Smith on 4th and 15 comes through, gets the sack. That Bruce Smith is crazy good. Uh, Chase Young, or was it Dennis Gardick? I think Dennis Gardick had a big one. It might have been Chase Young. I don't remember. Hufanga's nasty. This team is just so, so good. Dan Deardorff got his ass bullied. That makes me think like, bro, why even get Dan Deardorff? I should have gotten an 85 right tackle, used the coins. You know, I could have gotten a better halfback maybe, even though Brees Hall was awesome. Probably would have gotten a better right outside linebacker, MLB2. Maybe someone better than Jonathan Jones at CB2. But hey, amazing game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Double or nothing. 3.2 million is next. And I believe two new things will have dropped. I think Most Feared Wave 4 and a new promo called All Madden. You didn't get to see either of those in today's episode, but for that 3.2 mil, both should be out. Both should, honestly, I think All Madden is probably going to tank the market. So 3.2 mil is going to be a fucking nasty team. I can't wait. All right, y'all. Hey, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.